welcome to the homestead tonight it's just a typical school night and we're trying to get our seeds started i told you in the last video we're gonna start winter sowing and that's what we're doing tonight tell them what we're growing josiah onion seeds we're planting onions so you plant onions about eight to twelve weeks before your last frost and it's you know the middle of february and so that's perfect for us we'll put them out beginning in may and then our frost can be last frost can be anywhere between the middle of may to the beginning of june um, so we're going to get started with winter sowing this evening. So we have a very detailed winter sowing video that I'll link to below that shows you exactly the steps of how to winter sow, how to cut the jugs, but tonight we're just hanging out with Grogu. I have a helper and we're just going to get to planting. So the first one we're going to do is some yellow sweet Spanish onions. We're going to do it in this one right here, buddy. Okay. It used to be blue kale. It used to be blue kale, but now it is not. So shake this up for me. So these marker pens I got off Amazon are great. Um, they held up, as you can see last year, This you can see it very clearly still, it says blue kale. We used them. Um, Sharpie markers tend to fade in the sun and the wind and the rain. Okay. All right, so we've got our soil already put in here. We use happy frog soil mix, which we mentioned in another winter sewing video that we did. And it's nice and loose. It's a little damp. And so we are going to just plop our seeds in there. Now with winter sun, you don't have to plant them real deep. It's not like planting in the ground where you have to do exactly what it says on the back. I have found that it's better with winter sowing to do more surface sowing um, on most of the seeds. So we're not going to put them way down in there. We're just going to kind of plop them on the top and then just barely mm -hmm. cover them with soil. Okay? Ready? Ready. Get your hands ready. Now the really fun part. Okay. You want to hear the fun part? Mm -hmm. We have to go grab that bucket right there. Get some water? No. We're going to get some snow. Okay. Ready? Set. I'm ready. Okay. Go. Snow. It is icy snow. So one thing I'm excited about trying this year, um, I've learned a lot of things from the Instagram community. Something that Appalachian Homestead mentioned was using cinnamon in your potting soil and when you start your seeds. So we're going to do that this year. We do have some mold growth that happens sometimes in the jugs. Not a whole lot, but a little bit. And cinnamon inhibits that. It's also good for pests. If you have ants that are coming to bother your sprouts, if they're in a greenhouse or anything, or if you start them inside. So lots of good benefits to cinnamon in the uses in the garden. So we're going to try that. I'm going to just put a little bit on the top and then we'll add our snowy ice to the top of it. All right, so this snow is super icy. <laughs> I usually, it's usually a little more fluffy. Okay, we're going to put some snow. It's actually melting a lot, isn't it? Because it's mainly ice on top of the jug. Whenever I'm winter sowing and there's actually snow on the ground, I'll take some snow and throw it on top. Snow has a small amount of nitrogen, which is, you know, good for your plants. Um, it also is water and it insulates it a little bit. So it's just a nice way to naturally water. It's not a necessity at all, but it's the way I like to do it when and if it's available. Okay, that should be a, that should be plenty. So we'll tape it. Kind of hold this down for me. This is always nice when you have someone helping you with the duct tape because it can be tricky to do. Can you go around that way with it? Yeah. Here. Probably have a little too much, but it's better have too much than not enough. Yeah. All right, you ready? Just kind of push it on the side there so it's sealed up. And we have our first yeah. winter sewing jug. So we're just going to do onions tonight for February. Now in a couple weeks, we're going to start our flowers and herbs. And then in April, which I guess technically it's not winter sewing anymore. It's more just jug sewing because it's not winter. We'll do all of our warm season crops. And we do that because we have a pretty late frost in the May, early June. So we save our tomatoes and our cucumbers and things like that for April. That's just what we learned the last few years to do. So you ready? Let's do a couple more. Okay. Oh. 
So uh, Sa and I are over there planting onions. John's over here working on his own little project. What you up to? Uh, so I'm making some sugar cakes for the honeybees. Uh, that way when we get some warm days, I can put some sugar cakes on top of the hive and help them have enough food for winter. We recently checked and uh, all the bees still had some food. Some had eaten more than others and so just want to be prepared. So what we have here is a quick recipe for sugar cakes. Simply sugar, about five pounds of sugar um, with about one cup of water. I do a teaspoon of vinegar to help with just mold and, and uh, keeping it clean. And then also a teaspoon of uh, honey be healthy or uh, pro health is what I'm using here. So okay, it's got a lemongrass oil. And then what happens after you mix it all up? So I'm gonna put it in a cookie sheet of some sort um, and let it sit out for a couple days, harden. It'll become hard uh, like a brick. And then that way I can just take it out to the hives and place it on top. I don't have to be in the hives very long. Just lift the top cover, throw the, the brick of uh, sugar patty in there and then close it up and they have some more food. What's it smell like, bud? Linen. Yeah, it's that lemongrass from the Pro Health. I think it smells really good. <laughs> so Grogu has been hanging out with us the past few weeks, and he is actually going to make his way to school and hopefully bring a few smile to some kids' faces. So here's our first dogs of the 2021 gardening season. It's exciting. Um, I'm kind of being a chicken tonight. It's cold and it's raining. And so I will move these off the deck and put them, um, there's a grassy spot right there in front of the deck on the ground. And so I like having them down there and so they can absorb the moisture from the ground. And it stays quite a bit colder up here on the deck with the wind going underneath. So they're gonna stay here for a little bit and hopefully tomorrow or the next day I can move them down there. Thanks for hanging out with us tonight. It is possible to work full time and still run a small successful homestead. We find bits of time throughout the week and just make it a priority and it's amazing to see how these little bits of time add up and we reap huge rewards later. I encourage you to start now thinking, planning, and planting for the months to come. Hope y'all come back.